Hello all. Welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can install Sway in OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. So let me switch over to GNOME session. First and foremost thing you have to do when you are installing Sway you have uh, in OpenSUSE if you are installing from the official repositories you have two choices. You can install the vanilla sway or uh, you can install the sway with open source branding so i'm going to show you how you can install sway with open source branding over here let me increase my font size so you can do that by issuing the following command we need to install sudo zipper in sway dash branding dash open source i have already installed it but just show you for the purpose of this video after that you have to copy the configuration file which is located in config you have to copy this configuration file to your home folder so so you have to make mkdir dot config slash sway you have to create so after you create that directory you have to copy the configuration file of sway from this location to your dot config folder way and you can keep the name as it is and if you hit enter it's going to copy the configuration file after that we navigate inside the configuration file so if i go to cd dot config slash sway i do an ls you can see i have already copied the configuration file um i did this before recording this video because i have uh, like I wanted to do a little bit of uh, customizations to the actual script before implementing because I'm running a virtual machine over here. I was experiencing some issues. So I will show you how you can avoid these issues if you are using Sway on a virtual machine. So if you go inside the configuration file, you can see here you can set the mod key. So if you are if you need your mod key as yes, the Windows key or uh, you need if you need um, the mod key as super key or mod key as Windows key you can use mod four or you need to change this one if you go to insert mode and you can change this to mod one for alt so I'm using Windows key as super key so I am going to keep it as mod four mask and by default it's going to have the terminator alacrity so i have changed that to terminator over here so if you need to use some other terminal emulator you can just replace the name over here set dollar term and specify your terminal name then by default you are going to have the configuration over here set dollar menu um, you're going to have uh, the configuration for D menu, but because this is way I'm going to use Wofi. So Wofi will be installed if you install this package from OpenSUSE repos. So you don't need to install Wofi separately. Wofi will be like a dependency inside that. So if you set dollar menu Wofi and dash dash show run, if you replace um, here you, from here you will be having that D menu script. From this portion, you will have uh, like the script to execute D menu, but you can replace that with Wofi dash dash show space run. Then you have to specify your output. So this is a virtual machine. So I need uh, 1920 by 1080 resolution. So I have set the output asterisk resolution dash dash custom equals 1920 by 1080. And if you want to change your 
key bindings you can change it over here so by default mod key that is your windows key and enter mod and return will execute your terminal so if you have specified your terminator over here or whichever terminal you are using it's going to open that then the next thing is you need to specify your environment so sometimes when you open up some applications inside way you are going to experience some issues so in order to avoid that you can specify your environment so if you do sudo vim slash hc slash environment and give your root user password again you need to enter this line over here mouse enable whale and equals one so if you do that you are globally declaring all applications to use this so you're not going to have any issues while you are executing some application with uh, Wofi or from your terminal itself. If you're running this on a virtual machine like VirtualBox, uh, you need to do one more change. If you're not using a virtual machine, you don't need to do this because if you're using a, using a virtual machine, sometimes your mouse will not be displayed in side sway. So in order to avoid that, you can go to vim.profile if you do that you need to add this line export wlr no hardware underscore cursor equals one i'm going to exit out of that so now we have set up like clearly set up everything we can log out of our system and we can execute like we can go inside our sway so if you click over here you can select sway over here and you just need to give it your super user or like user password you're going to get this so this is the open source branded bar configuration so by default you don't need to do much customizations over here so you can change volume levels you can use this to change your volume levels you can see the battery percentage you can see the disk usage over here you can see the ram utilization you can see whether you are connected to a network so but mine is connected to this one so in order to open up your terminal you can use mode key and enter key so if you hit mode and enter you are going to have your terminal emulator open if you need to exit out of this you can hit mod shift and q so that's going to close the window then if you want to run wofi mod and d so it's going to give you wofi so you can open up terminator or something you can like you can search inside Wofi for Firefox for example so you can open that so if you want to move this to another workspace you can use mod shift and the number of workspace so it, it's currently moved to the second workspace so I have just mod shift and two so if you want to move to that workspace you can use mod and two or you can click this to switch from one workspace to another if you made some configuration changes inside your cd.config slash sway and if you made some changes to your configuration file you can reload that by hitting mod shift mod and mod shift and c so if you do that your sway configuration will be reloaded so if you have made some changes over here it's going to reload like if you change some key bindings or if you added something over here if you hit mod shift and see it's going to restart sway with new configuration so if you need to change your wallpaper you need to install a package so by default you can change the wallpaper by editing your configuration file so if you go to your configuration file here output dot output asterisk bg you can specify your background location over here or else you can use an, a package so it's called assort so in order for you to install assort you can use sudo sipa in assort so you can install assort from the in order to execute assort hit mod d to open wofi and you can search assort or you can pick assort from here so it's going to open up assort 
here you can navigate to your directory which is having your wallpapers so you can pick one and you select one and hit this one you can select fills fit all these things so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna hit this one and mod shift q and mod shift q again my wallpaper is changed so that's it for today i hope you all have a wonderful day